Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Garland uses it. Garland goes behind the back. Jared Allen on a kick. Wade. Splash! Blew the whistle on Tatum. And how about the fact that Jared Allen had the presence to know what was on that shot clock. And... Levert, 10 to shoot. Now it's Garland. Drive to the rim. Left hand, no. It's Dave Wade coming out of nowhere. On the shot, but how about this play here off the attack? Dean Wade just comes flying in for that offense. So, last night, did y'all see? The Boston Celtics went up against the Cleveland Cavaliers on the road in which they tried to extend the winning streak in which it was on an 11-game winning streak until they faced the Cleveland Cavaliers last night and when they lost in overtime to a controversial no-call with Jason Tatum shooting the three. So, today's video, we're going to be talking, actually talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers and why they are the best team in the NBA nobody is talking about. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back and with another video. Now, listen, y'all love NBA commentary, y'all love NBA content, y'all love just the NBA in general. Give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know down below any, any more ideas for videos. Share this video with your friends and family out there. And I appreciate y'all for the support. Listen. And break down the Cleveland Cavaliers. We've talked about the Knicks. We talked about the Celtics. We talked about Miami in my last video. We talked about Philly to a lesser degree. We talked about Milwaukee. The one team we haven't talked about is the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I, 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 I'm disappointed in myself and the rest of the league and the rest of the analysts out there. That was to give all these other teams in the East credit, except the Cleveland Cavaliers. Why is that? Is it because LeBron is not there no more? It's because the Kyrie is not there no more? It's because the Kevin Love is not there no more? Is it because you have the most underrated superstar on your team in Donovan Mitchell, who's averaging 28 points per game and about two assists a, a game? Is it because you have also have a rising point guard? Yes, he's coming back for injury, but he's one of the best point guards in, still in the league, and Darius Garland. Is it because you have two twin towers that have been dominating this whole season? Evan Mobley has finally came on. He's averaging two blocks per game and, all, and a steal. He should be at least a candidate in, in the defensive player of the year. Yes, AD has been doing crazy. Yes, Rudy Gobert has been doing crazy. Yes, before he got injured, Joel B has been going crazy. Kawhi Leonard and then Lester Degree. But Evan Mobley defensively has been a pest. Jerry Allen getting the rebounds that he's been doing. And then you have the bench and the death of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Isaiah Coro, Dean Wade. You see what Dean Wade did last night? Who is this person? It's not Dwayne Wade. Dean Wade. Coming alive. Morrell. We don't know who that is. He's been coming alive. They have good, solid role pair players that can help out Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, and the Twin Towers. Oh, let's not forget. Let's, let's, this is why they're the most underrated team. They have the second best defense in the league. They allow 109 points per game. That's second in the league behind the Minnesota Timberwolves. Why are they not being talked about? Like I said, it's probably because it's Cleveland. And Cleveland is irrelevant without LeBron. But let's break this down. Okay? I'm going to break down the weaknesses of this team. One. Most of their wins are close. That's a concern. A lot of their wins are very close. At least eight points 
or less. And you see the one last night. Yes, y'all at least beat Boston. Boston was rolling to last night. But when I said in my last video that the playoffs are all about matchups. So you don't want to be close in these games in the playoffs. Because look what happened last year to y'all. Y'all got bounced out in five games by the New York Knicks. So right now, y'all are sitting at the third spot in the East, right? The matchup y'all got to go against is the Miami Heat, in which I talked about them in my last video. GG. Y'all better hope. I pray that Miami gets to a fifth seed or y'all get to the second seed. Because then... Y'all get to the second seed, y'all play Philly. We don't know if Joel B is going to come back. And yes, matchup-wise, I feel like y'all match up well against Philly. I, really, I really do. Y'all match up well against Philly. They got two twin towers that can out-rebound Paul Reed. Unless Joel B comes back. But even when Joel B comes back, he's not going to be 100%. You can somehow neutralize him to a lesser degree. Right? But... If y'all say the third seed and Miami says a sixth seed, I don't like y'all winning that series. I don't. I'm gonna be real with y'all. This, this for for y'all, Cleveland. Listen to me. Listen to me. Watch this video. Give your feedback in the comment section below because I'm giving y'all some game right now. Y'all have to get the second seed or the fourth seed. If y'all don't get those two seeds, GG. You'd be playing Miami or the Knicks. Instead of playing Orlando and Philly. You feel me? Because if Orlando's at the fourth seed. I feel like the Orlando's going to be the fifth seed. I think the Knicks are going to jump ahead of them. Despite the Knicks being really banged up. The Knicks are going to jump ahead of the Orlando Magic. And I already talked about Orlando Magic. They're also underrated, but they, they're still on the come up. They're not there yet. Cleveland, the real reason why a lot of these analysts and teams out there, they're not believing y'all, despite y'all having the third seed in the East, y'all lost in the first round just versus the New York Knicks last year. So y'all had to prove yourself. Donovan Mitchell, honestly, doesn't really have to prove himself, but at the same time, he does. Because we know what kind of superstar Donovan Mitchell is. But he's so underrated because of these other superstars outdoing him that we forget Donovan Mitchell is a great playoff performer. It's the rest of the team that needs to show up. Darius Garland. Evan Mobley. Jared Allen. Isaac Okoro. Dean Wade. I believe his name is Sam Moreau. Paris LeVert. Listen, defensively, y'all are reckoned with. Offensively, y'all got to step it up a little bit more for y'all to really compete with these rest of these teams in the East, despite y'all having a third seed. But we're talking about the playoffs because the playoffs are all about matchups. Y'all don't match well against Miami. You got Donovan Mitchell being guarded by Jimmy. Okay? That would be a great matchup. You got Evan Mobley versus Bam. Another great matchup. So you also have Jared Allen. The problem y'all face with Miami. Miami got experience. Miami got culture. Miami got the will to win. And Miami got more shooters than y'all. That's what it re relies on. Now the Knicks. Healthy Knicks teams being y'all. But that's what I said. Calves. Try to stack the, the second seed or the fourth seed. Because right now, Milwaukee's already over y'all. So try just try to get the fourth seed. So you have to face Orlando in the fast first round. But despite that, the Cleveland Cavaliers. These analysts need to put some more spec on y'all name. They do. Because y'all been balling the second half of the season. But we got to see what y'all do in the playoffs. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new.
Comment down below how far you think the, the Cleveland Cavaliers can go with Donovan Mitchell. Comment down below if Donovan Mitchell is going to get traded in, in, the, in, the, in the free agency if they don't go far in the playoffs. And just comment down below any more ideas in the NBA season, what's going on. I appreciate y'all for your support. It's being a bold will, and I'm